taboo topics in the salon. These are things you should never, ever be talking about, hopefully. We're gonna discuss all of them right now on the Biz Talk. Tracy, before we get started, how old are you? How much do you weigh? What's your... Uh, how far along what? are you? <laughs> oh These God. are always things you should ask all your customers when they walked in. Just assume everybody's pregnant, that they're twice the age, and they wear, wait, put 30 pounds. They're like, I'm going to guess your weight. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Can I, can I admit something? Oh, no. I have a friend... Okay, no. this was like years ago, but I have a friend and this is like the worst thing that ever happened. It was like awful. I just had a kid. He just had a kid um, and his wife was was pregnant and I didn't, what I did was, you know, I assumed the number of months mm -hmm. and I just said, oh my God, are you, uh, but I said it in like joint excitement. About to do, you do. <laughs> Give yeah, birth any yes, second? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Was, oh. I was, I felt so awful and it was the worst feeling. And my wife came up to me and she was like, do you not know? And I'm like, I've never had a kid and none of my friends have ever had kids. And I don't, I know nothing. I learned really quick. I'm an idiot. That was dumb. Do not do that ever. But um, yeah. This God. actually happened to a friend of mine at, the nail pro show really yes oh my gosh and someone assumed she was pregnant that was working a booth and yeah. she was not pregnant at from another company yeah and that's she put all her stuff down that lady chased her. that lady felt so bad yeah. chased her down gave her a bunch of products i'm so sorry yeah 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 yeah. But yeah you just never go there no. i mean they could literally like the foot could be hanging out <laughs> don't assume they're pregnant i mean here's the thing right this rolls us perfectly into this topic there are things mm -hmm. that just you you really shouldn't say you shouldn't talk about walk in away. in the salon just walk <laughs> away but i think we can maybe highlight a few of those things yes some of the th mistakes i made don't do that never obviously you guys are probably way smarter than 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 me i mean i made the dumb thing. mistake it's a man thing oh my god it was awful but um Obviously, right now, it is the temperature, the mm -hmm. climate, obviously in politics. It's a little hot right now. It's a little now. hot right now um, with COVID. And, and that's kind of the thing, though, now, is that COVID has been really mixed in, you know, with politics. So true. And it's really difficult. You, for sure, you have to have safety policies in place. And so... Um, if someone, if, if a discussion has to happen regarding COVID, well then so be it. Right. But beyond the basic, you know, questions regarding health of COVID, I don't think you go beyond that. I really, really don't, you know, obviously you got to ask the questions to make sure that you're safe. Clients are safe. Oh, yeah. Everybody in the salon is safe. Follow the rules. Follow, Follow the rules. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But you know, do you think you should be wearing a mask or not? I don't think those are questions. Those are people's preferences. Um, I have my views. Everybody has their different yeah. views. and But people are linking it too much to the politics and well, making assumptions that you stand for this because you do or don't wear a mask and so on. It can get really ugly. It, well, what happens is it's very innocent, right? Like, oh, my God, these stupid masks. I'm so sick of them. Like, do you think we should be wearing masks? And it starts very innocent. Like, it, and sure. it spirals very quickly. Like, yeah. before you know it, you're discussing who should be president and who and, you know, all this different stuff. Yeah. That it All it started with was a mask. And people get very up in arms yeah you know because it's their beliefs and yeah, they want to stand for what they believe in so it's just best to walk away yeah like it's masks are part of our life and just if you have to wear them in salon wear them i wouldn't right. even discuss it with the clients it, unless the client is refusing to wear one right and if it's if it's part of your laws to do business like it is i know in california you know, to walk into the grocery store, for example, at least in Los Angeles, there's there's signs and there's a person out there yeah. 
to, I mean, I feel so bad for that person too. Like they have to make sure that everybody's wearing a mask. And if you, if somebody doesn't want to wear one, you know, which I can, I can understand, right. I was, it's not even whether I understand it. It's just, that's somebody's belief system. Yeah. And I don't go in and try to judge it or change it or change it. Yeah. It's just, this is their belief system. Yeah. That's just a terrible position yeah. to be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'll say, even if it isn't law, Let's say, for instance, masks aren't a lot, but you have decided for your salon. For your salon. You know, send out that message prior to a client getting there. So it's not, it, there has been awkward conversations, even with people having to, do, you know, already telling people what the policy is. Of course. There's going to be someone that shows up and it's going to, you know, but don't, don't be afraid. Like if you want to set that for yourself and your salon, that's okay. But it's the, the let's discuss it in depth. And as they're sitting there and you're doing their hair or their nails or whatever you're doing, it just, mm. and the thing is this, like we're bringing this topic up right now because salons are getting back to business. You're going to see clients you haven't seen in a while there's like people want to talk about things that probably they shouldn't. Maybe you saw on Instagram, a client has a certain belief system and now you're like, well, I don't want this client. Like it can get, you got to separate. Really, you gotta separate. You gotta it can separate. get very complicated. I just, I, I miss my sound. I just want your money <laughs> <laughs> and I want to provide a good service for it. But you know what I mean? Like, don't, <laughs> This is your business. Don't get it mixed up. I don't want to go into um, Domino's Pizza and have them tell me their political views. I just want my pizza. Right. I want right, to give you right. money for my pizza. And the right. same for a salon. It's just with salon because it is such a it's contact. It's very personal. It's personal. Yes. People tend to overshare. Correct. Stuff. And, and that's part of um, the nature. That's the nature of the nail business is there is this intimacy and it's why a lot of people love going to the salon because it's their moment to relax, yeah. to vent, to talk. We always say that nail techs are like therapists as well. Yeah. So you're going to have viewpoints put on you. So it's more of like this. I don't know. This is how I would kind of deal. Oh, and yeah. I was going to ask you, like, how yeah. would you handle a situation? For me, it's like I, well, first of all, I've, I've worked on myself a lot over the years. Again, I'm talking about a lot of therapy, a lot keep, of meditation. Keep working. Keep working, keep yes. Working. I have a lot more work to do. And um, I've really come to a place in my life where I have friends that have this viewpoint. Hmm. I have friends that have this viewpoint, okay? Completely opposite viewpoints. And I don't, I like for me, it's like, cool. I respect you have your viewpoint, you have your viewpoint. As long as you're not pushing your viewpoint hard on me, for me, it's live and let live. Right. Like I have my viewpoints. I'm not going to push them on you, you know, for through my experiences and what I've gone through in my life have shaped me having certain opinions. Okay. I don't come to work and share them. I don't come to work and like tell all my employees, this is what I think about the current. I don't do that. Right? right. And I don't ask as well. And it's not that I don't care. It's more of like a, a respect thing. Right. So that's the best comparison I can make is here at work. So if I had a salon, I would not be asking people because it's a very, very hot subject right now. The potential for it to go wrong is extremely high. As a matter of fact, I guarantee you, if you bring it up, someone in your salon is not going to take that from that client and they're going to have something to say. It can go sideways really fast. Right. And that's, it's just not a good situation. So I just, it's, for me, it's like, okay, this is a place of work. This is a place of business. And um, I have my beliefs. And if my beliefs are that, you know what, for, I think that everybody should be wearing a mask. Well, I'm, I'm going to go that far to put that in my business, right? Because right? it's my business. Yeah. Health. Health. It, it has to do with your health. Right. And if I believe that it protects, well, then that's my business. And so if you want to come in, you've got to respect that. But beyond that, if you come in, I'm not going to stop you at the door and, and be like, yo, before I do your nails, who are you voting for? <laughs> and you better say the right answer. I'm not doing them. You need to. And I'm not going to give you any clues you need to tell me 
who you're voting for or else nails aren't getting done today. I don't think this country would, it wouldn't work yeah. otherwise. You know what I mean? Well, I'll have to tell you what it usually is, is the flip side. So basically we can make the decision. I'm not going to discuss this stuff, you know, mm. and then the client the starts. The client brings it up. The client starts and they start making with their little comments and you're just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. And it gets progressive. I've had it you know, whether it's religion or whatever it is, and you're trying to be polite and you're trying to be nice. And then it starts getting to this point where you're uncomfortable. Everybody around you is uncomfortable. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. So for me, if someone is like going and going and going for, if, if it's just me and you in the room, talk away. I'll let you talk and I'll just be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, no, and, he didn't. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm not going to like, I'm not going to uh, engage, right? Yeah. If there are other people in the room and you can feel it and you can notice it's getting uncomfortable, I would say, hey, let's change the topic. You know, like I want you to relax. I want you to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? What kind of coffee you have? Like, I would try to drop a joke in there. How many cups? How many cups? I had six. Can you tell? Can you tell? I would just try to throw a joke in there. Right. Lighten the sitch immediately. But I would say it with a smile yeah. and very politely, like, like, please, please, please don't take this. But, like, let's, I want you to be, let's get you down calm, calm. and happy. Calm come on. down. I want you to come here. And, yeah. and that's how I would approach the situation, Trace. I like that because it's not putting them on the spot. Like, hey, totally. yo. You're not supposed Stop to be talking, it. talking about stuff like that. You're making everybody uncomfortable. <laughs> now. <laughs> there were my, it's just, my gosh. I'm like, okay. Like I was, I'm like, geez, Tracy. <laughs> That's like, how we would talk. <laughs> I know, but, I know. No, but you, you know, it's it's giving them kind of like the hint. Yeah. And then a chance for them to kind of blow it off and laugh too. But I was just watching TikTok. I have TikTok. Mm, TikTok. Mm, I just keep going down that rabbit hole. <sighs> so there was a situation with a hairdresser. The lady in her chair was extremely racist to her assistant. Okay, so that's different. Yes. But but continue. I loved how this girl handled it. She was so, she's like, that's not right. That's not acceptable. This is my assistant. And the lady kept on persisting. She literally sat down and she's like, Robin, really, Robin, you're going to do this right now. She was really trying with the lady. Finally, the lady just like, I don't understand. She's like, you know what? You're done. Out. Ow. Well, actually, the lady <laughs> lunged at her. Like she was oh going to hit gosh. her and she's like, you're out. She had hair color in her hair. She's like, well, what am I supposed to do? She's like, Figure wash it, it out. when you get home. See you later. But I, I, I respected the way she handled it because she, at first she, she tried to defuse this situation. She was standing up for her assistant. She wasn't going to let it go, but she was giving the lady the opportunity to turn it around. Yeah. Not Dude. that she deserved it for being what she was saying, but she, you know, but she didn't. She wasn't screaming at her. This, that's what I'm really talking about. Like, there, her tone was very totally in control, firm, firm yes. but in control. Yes, right. And, but standing up for herself too. Of like, nope, out. Yeah, I, I, I believe in that so much. Like in a heated situation mm-hmm. or gnarly situations, screaming, yelling, it doesn't, it doesn't help. Don't. Like you can be firm and to the point. And like you mean business and you're not going to take like it's time to go right now in a situation like that. Obviously, if a conversation got heated and then there was any type of racism or Mm -hmm. discrimination, you are gone. Like that's not even it's not not, acceptable. Nope. Yeah. Zero, zero tolerance. Lady should have known better, but it it, it is kind of crazy but i just really respected how how it was handled and I, that's why i liked what you were saying is you gave him a chance with the joke of like totally. you know i'm going to i'm going to let you redeem yourself right now right whether they take the hint or not and and that's the thing ultimately you know if somebody if somebody has some pretty awful you know beliefs in terms of like racism discrimination those things i would hope I would think, not hope, I would think that that's going to come out at some point. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're going to you're gonna have an idea of the client. I mean, I guess it's certainly you, you never know. Sometimes you, you are kind surprised. of taken back. Yeah, surprised. Sure. Like taken back of, whoa, where did this person yeah. come from? I've, only, I've been working on you for two years, but the situation really never presented for itself. Sure. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. If it does, um, 
obviously you've got to take care of that like immediately. But I think with her, like, obviously she made the right choice. It was that moment of get out. Now, if it's a situation where this client keeps on bringing stuff up that you don't want to talk about, it might just be that you finish their nails and give them a text or a call afterwards of this isn't going to work. Right, right. For sure. Absolutely. Um, I, I think you have to feel out the situation. Um, obviously, best to uh, not guide the conversation in those directions. If you can't help it if they're coming at you and not stopping politely you know like hey let's i, w I really want to lighten up the mood for you because this is your relaxing mm -hmm. time i like saying that i think that's a good way to like if they keep going you know you might want to be like look there's there are people yeah. in here i want it to be comfortable for everybody and then obviously if she goes off the handle you can escort them out or send them a text later and just say this, this is, is not working that's out. It's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. because absolutely. you will have. There are people that I've dealt with that like it's not even that you know they're talking about politics or anything. It's just subjects that are uncomfortable for me. Sure. That I don't want to hear about your sex life or whatever right. every time right. you come in and you try to drop those hints and it, they're not getting it. So no, I don't. I don't want to do you anymore. And yeah. this, so I have to let you know. You know, it wasn't a get out at this moment right now. Totally. It's, totally. Okay. I've I've tried to work with you twice and I've tried to direct it in different ways and I I no longer want to deal with it. Yeah. And at that point, you have to be transparent and just let the client know look, this is not working out, yeah. you know, hopefully you can find somebody that better suits your needs, you know, I'm definitely not that person, and then you're done, done. but don't keep the client if you're uncomfortable, yeah. um, you've got to let that go, and uh, I think that's, I think that's huge. Let us know in the comments below. Put, put your age, your weight, <laughs> and how far along you are. Everything. 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 No, everything. Blood type, everything. <laughs> let us know in the comments below uh, how you deal with with the situation, you know what I mean? If, if topics are coming up um, that are iffy and you definitely know it's it's very sensitive, how do you control it? How do you deal with that? How do you let your clients know? We'd love to hear about it. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on The Biz Talk.